definitely not legal advice. Tonight, a little bit of a different uh, take on this as I push my new micro microphone in closer. Um, so, been doing some very serious topics recently. So tonight, I decided to just do a quick and short little uh, burst on something that interests me and that happened last night. And I thought some people might be interested. Again, not legal advice. Please like, subscribe, especially if you like this kind of stuff, alternative stuff. I'd be happy to do more of this stuff too. Please let me know. Um, so before I begin, this is from Sway. Why is dark spelled with a K? Because you can't see in the dark. Very nice, very nice. An alternative to that is I can tell when people are being judgmental just by looking at them. So I'll let you choose between those great two jokes. So again, completely off topic and it's going to be brief, but I thought it might be interesting to some of you out there. So I'd, I'd uh, and it's a, a somewhat a unique experience, I think. So I thought I'd bring it up. So when I was a kid, Back about 140 years ago, uh, I grew up near 20th Century Fox Studio in Los Angeles. I used to film on my street a lot. And as a very tiny, tiny, tiny kid, minus 12 years old, I remember when the uh, astronauts landed on the moon. I remember watching it on TV. It was pretty, honestly, it was pretty remarkable. I think that's 1969, I believe. Anyway, after that uh, event, which was really considered to be a miraculous event, they had a tour, the astronauts. And I remember when Neil Armstrong came to uh, Century City, which is right near 20th Century Fox Studios, and him and his two compatriots, they got a, basically a hero's welcome to a, a big crowd in L.A. And I remember that to this day. And I remember the landing on the moon to this day. So it really uh, was a remarkable event in my mind as a kid. So ironically, I live now in a different part of Southern California, and I'm about an hour plus away from a uh, rocket base, a Vandenberg Air Force Base is actually the name of it. And from there, uh, Starlink, which is Elon Musk's company, sometimes shoots off uh, reusable rockets to send satellites into space. Starlink is a satellite system. So Starlink is a satellite system that's Elon Musk's own that he's trying to have up in circulation to service all parts of the world that can't be serviced by normal means of communication. I think on the order of 4,500 satellites have been deployed to this point in time. So they have two places where they shoot the rockets off from and the satellites attached. One is Cape Canaveral, obviously in Florida, and one is from Vandenberg. And I guess depending on where the satellites are going depends on where uh, they shoot the rocket off from. Most of them still come from Florida, but some do in California. So last night at about 9 p.m. with a completely clear sky, uh, they shot off another group of satellites on top of a reusable uh, SpaceX uh, rocket booster and shot it up in the sky. So this is the third time I've seen this. It, we, it, so kind of to give you an idea, because I thought it was it's really impressive. Each time I see it, I kind of don't believe what I'm seeing, to be quite honest. So about 8.57, 8.57 p.m., the launch happens. I'm looking in the sky towards the west, towards the ocean, at least where I am, towards the ocean. At about 8.58, 8.59 or so, I see, looking to the west, what looks like to be, all I can describe it as, this big sparkler that just jumps out of the sky at you. Don't You don't hear any noise, you just see this dramatic light. And that's at or about the time of the stage separation. So what you see is at or about the time of the first stage, which is the main rocket that lifts it off into space, is going back to the west to land 
on a ship and be reused. So it's going back towards the Pacific, back towards, I don't know exactly where, but near Vandenberg Air Force Base, which is Central California. And the payload, the remaining part of the rocket, which has the satellites attached, attached goes in the opposite direction, southeast and high. So you can watch it climb at the same time. So on one hand, you're seeing the reusable rocket go back to the west. At the other time, you're seeing the payload go to the southeast. And it's just, again, it's just remarkable, especially that flash and when, when there's an engine either cut off or we're seeing an engine, it just bright, brightens the sky more than you can imagine. And again, I've seen this three times now, and each time I see it, it really just surprises me. So saw that last night. If you're ever in Southern California or Florida and you look up to see if there's any missions, take a look out to the west, the kind of the northwest, and it, especially on a clear night, it will be an amazing view. It br honestly, it brought me back to the to the moon landing and kind of where. Uh, some of my imagination was ignited, pun intended, uh, about space travel and science per se. So anyway, nothing to do with the nonsense we're going through, naked shorting or anything like that, but thought it was an interesting uh, experience. And uh, again, I grew up next to a movie studio, so had an interesting childhood, but this was another interesting experience. So wanted to pass it on. Have a good evening. Uh, I'll be back with non-space content in the future. Take care. Have a great night.